after the news of the shootings broke, people from all around the state, the country, even the world, found a way to send messages to Lewiston. A lot of those letters were collected, and there's an effort underway to preserve them forever. News Center Maine's Rob Caldwell shares some of what's been written. The cards and letters started as a trickle, turned into a stream, and then a river. They poured into Lewiston after the shootings from around the U.S. and from other countries, from people who had something to convey. I think sending love, empathy, sympathy, that there are hopeful and good times ahead, and frankly, from some communities that have been through this before, that they understand what this community is going through. About 1,000 of those cards and letters are now part of the permanent collection at the Maine Museum of Innovation, Learning, and Labor in Lewiston, an excerpt from one letter. In the midst of your grief and terrible loss, I want you to know that I and all of Nova Scotia are with you in thought and prayer. And another one. To Bates Campus Safety, thank you so much for your responsiveness and care, making sure we were and are all safe physically and mentally. We could not have done this without you. Sometimes the letters surprise. So much pain and unnecessary tragedy. When will we ever see change in men's mentality? It goes on and is then signed with unconditional support and respect from an unlikely resource. It's from an incarcerated man at a state prison in Idaho. But perhaps the most poignant of the messages sent to Lewiston are these, the notes passengers wrote on napkins from a Southwest Airlines plane. Andy Garmezzi and his dog Cooper from the National Crisis Response Canine Team were flying to Maine on Southwest right after the shootings, coming to offer support and understanding that only a loving dog can provide. The flight attendants were moved by their presence on the plane which prompted Andy to make a suggestion. If you were to pass out some napkins and ask the people to write messages that I can share with the people of Maine in the recovery, I know it would be helpful. After the napkins were collected, something almost unheard of happened. The captain allowed an emotional Andy Garmezzi to get on the PA system. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all the passengers I'd like to read just some of what you wrote. I almost didn't get through because everybody was offering their love and saying, stay strong, we support you. And, you know, it just tugs at the, at the heartstrings. In a world where there seems to be no love, know that Southwest Flight 1843 is full of people praying for all the families who went through this horrific act of hate. And every deployment we go on, Rob, has a different takeaway. And the takeaway from Maine was the appreciation and the love of the people to Cooper and to what we're trying to assist them with. Love and prayers for all those in Lewiston, Maine. Unlike text messages or email, all these cards and letters and napkins will endure. A reminder of the support from around the world sent to Lewiston in its darkest hour. In Lewiston, Rob Caldwell, New Center, Maine.